banh mi or banh mi sandwich is like a classic street food found here in Vietnam. But if you're vegetarian or vegan, your options are a little more limited because basically, I mean, this wonderful sandwich made from like a French style baguette and ingredients that is mostly meat based. But in this video, I'm going to share with you six of my favorite places to find either vegetarian or vegan banh mi here in Ho Chi Minh City. And by the way, Live Kindly just voted Ho Chi Minh City one of the top 15 cities in the world for vegans. Very cool. Just heading up to Bo Bien Street, the Backpacker Street here in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm gonna grab a banh mi there. They've got a great vegetarian banh mi place there. Let's go. This is one of my favorites, uh, and the, the bread that they use at this uh, stand is amazing, and you gotta eat it right away. Um, so they've got some, uh, obviously some fried tofu in here, some pickles, uh, cucumber. I'm truly, oh, I, I'll show you the banana cake too, the banana cake, awesome. So this is, uh, you know, it would be probably vegan if you didn't have the mayo in it. So if you asked to hold the mayo, you'd probably have a vegan by me. But uh, regardless, one of my favorites. Some of it is a bread. The bread in this one's good. And I like the, the, the kind of the soft tofu they put in and then the fried tofu. They have different textures. It's really nice. an impression of cheese with the softer texture in here as well. And then they've got some, like, kind of like a mushroom pate that they use. This is great. Van Nam on Bobian Street. Uh, banana cake. Really good, not too sweet. Perfect little dessert after the banh mi. And it's so dense, it's like just packed with bananas. places around uh, Ho Chi Minh City so you can check uh, your location to see which one's the closest to you. Um, the vegetarian banh mi here is just amazing. I love it. It's got some mushrooms in it. It's, it's definitely a little bit different than some of the standard veg banh mi's that you can find. I think it's ready. I better check. You know, it's, I think the mushrooms, the combination of the mushrooms and the pickles in this is just amazing. I love this and the bread is so good. Hello. Hi. It's totally, it's blazing hot here right now. I had to move away a little bit because this location is right next to a school and these kids are on their break, so. I love this one. The bread is just perfect. I mean, it's perfect. But with this one, I really like the thick, um, pickles that they use, pickled vegetables uh, with the mushroom and the herbs, absolutely delicious. And again, I think if you took the uh, mayo out, you've got a little bit of mayo maybe in here, it would be vegan, just a guess. That's really good. 20,000. I love 
everything about this one. The bread, so good. Just on Kogang Street here. This is really close to Bovian. Uh, and not too far from the Bentown Market, and there's a lot of uh, local flavor here, uh, morning markets, and I'm just heading to Veggie Saigon. I'm gonna grab a veggie banh mi there. One of my favorite places. Saigon is completely vegan, so you can eat anything here and feel comfortable if you're vegan. You can order anything off the menu. The banh mi here is great. It's very simple, uh, but they use really super fresh ingredients, and the bread is amazing. And it's delicious. Now this place is a vegan paradise. Everything in this restaurant is vegan, right down to the fish paste. It's vegan fish paste that they use in uh, salads and sandwiches and different things. So they have three different sandwich or banh mi options. Uh, one is kind of like a hamburger, vegan hamburger, and the other two are banh mi. Uh, this is a great place to go, whether you're vegetarian or vegan. And I'm gonna order one of my favorites here right now. By the way, uh, if you ever go to any of these vegetarian restaurants or uh, vegan restaurants, they might use the terms like pork or chicken, and they might not say it's fake or alternative or anything like that. So just trust that it's not real meat. It's just some kind of uh, tofu or gluten product. I've been coming to this place for a while. This is a vegan paradise, and I'm probably gonna get some ice cream afterwards, vegan ice cream, durian, my favorite. This one's really good and juicy too. Everything's good about this. Great texture, great bun. Pickles are great. There's a little bit of kick in this, a little bit of spice, which is nice. Hey, if you're vegan, you're on a strict vegan diet come to this place for sure. Vegan paradise here in Ho Chi Minh City. I'm at Tibet Mi Express here in District 1 in Ho Chi Minh City and these guys are really famous uh, for uh, pork and pate banh mi, the traditional ones and they got a couple of different ones on there as well on their menu. But they also have a vegetarian option as well. And I usually find that the shops that are really famous for the meat banh mi's and if they do have a veg or vegan option, they're actually really quite good. So um, let's give this one a try. Kind of um, like a, a, a faux uh, chicken or pork in here that's really quite good. And it's got a nice uh, consistency, kind of real meaty consistency to it. That's an ice cream guy next to me, by the way. Keeps ringing his bell. Really good. 
good option. And right near all the stuff that's going on here, District 1. Again, with these, it's usually the mayo that puts it over the edge uh, past uh, being vegan. So a lot of these that I'm trying in this video that are vegetarian could probably be turned into a vegan option if you just ask them not to put the mayonnaise on. This is really good. I like this. I like this one a lot. Just because this um, this meat, sort of fake meat that they've got here, is kind of a little bit different, almost kind of chewy, a little bit like a jerky texture to it, almost. So it's making it really different and good with the hot sauce and the vegetables and the lettuce. It's really nice. And a little bit of mint in there too. I like that. Alright, the really cool thing about Ho Chi Minh City is that you can get food from anywhere, delivered almost anywhere. So the apps to use are the GoViet, GrabFood, or um, Vietnam.com. Vietnam.com, I'll leave those all here. So if you're kind of stuck, if you're looking for some vegan options and you're not really close to something vegan, eh, just get on the uh, GrabFood app or Vietnam.com or GoViet and you'll be in business. So I'm in District 1 here. I ordered from the Vegan Garden in District 7, a band name, so it's gonna cost me a little bit more because of the delivery. But this thing looks amazing. I've heard lots of good things about this particular vegan band meat. And um, it's got meatballs in it, vegan meatballs. So this is what I'm kind of looking for. It's a little bit different than what I've, what I've been trying. It looks a little, almost looks a little juicier too. Okay, let's give this a try. So, um, I'm just out on the street here. I had this delivered to my hotel, but basically, as long as you got an address, you can have it delivered anywhere. So if you're near a park, you just grab an address close to the park, sit there and wait for your food to get delivered to you, and then you just go walk over to the park and sit in the park and have a nice banh mi, vegan banh mi or veg banh mi. Mm. Oh, that's good. I love the tomato sauce they use here. And they've got fresh tomatoes. They're almost kind of Italian in a way. Mm. Wow. That's really good. And it's going to be really filling too. This is great. Vegan banh mi from the Vegan Garden, District 7. found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. You can also support the channel by becoming a patron. Patrons get exclusive content on my Patreon page. Uh, visit the link in the video notes here. And also don't forget all of those places that were mentioned today, uh, you can find them all below in the uh, video notes. So from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, this is John Spo. You can get to a veggie dog here for another video. See you soon.